the other question of the bullion van or no bullion van and all of that, I think that matter has been put to rest. There was no money in the bullion van. The bullion van that even came uh, missed uh, the, uh, the address to have come there. Okay. It missed the address to have come there, and that was why the bullion van was... But why was bullion van moving on election day? I thought there was supposed to be no movement. No, there was, it was not an election day. It no, was but, not. It was uh, but, but, uh, it was, I was, I was, I was in that house on that very day. Yeah. It election. was not an election. So it was the day before election. But it why was bullion van moving The everywhere? bullion van was missed the address to have come there. Okay. I thought your presidential candidate had actually said that um, what he said, business he, he, he I, I, I money. watched it. He said yeah. that jokingly. Okay. It was a joking statement. So the bullion van missed the same the same way, the same way, the same way Mr. Dangote said that when he wanted to authenticate and get his mindset that truly he has money, he went to cash one million naira, brought it to his house, sat and looked at his money and returned it to the bank. No, but well, I just want to get this right. You said the bullion van missed his way to come into the place. Yes. But that place is not a known bank, or was it a bank? I just want there, to get there, to the there, root there, of it. There are some companies, there are some companies that have high staff that pay their staff with cash. Okay. Right? That bullion van missed his way there. Okay. And it was not invited by Ashwadu or anybody. Okay, uh, comrade. King News, my lovely, wonderful people. Finally, the mystery behind the Billy Van spotted in Tinubu's house in 2019 has been unraveled. As APC organizing secretary revealed what really happened, how Billy Van got into uh, this is the van that carry plenty money. This van, this is actually carry plenty, plenty money. We don't give us the, the explanation at the van to enter Tinubu. As you see, we say people know that thing can say the thing we say the bully van, eh? eh? Say he, he just uh, he just uh, miss road, uh, say something happened. So finally, the mystery is out. The minister, the, the mystery behind all that, it all the out the mystery. So it don't come out now. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Billy Van spotted in Tinubu's house in 2019 only missed their way, says ABC organizing secretary. Ayodele Adewumi, the organizing secretary of the All Progressive Congress APC in Lagos State, has claimed that the money Van spotted in 2019 entering Tinubu's entering the Tinubu's pre, Tinubu presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress missed his way. And in the whole of Lagos, the only place he could enter was Tinubu's house. Let's continue. Speaking during an interview on Arise TV morning show on Thursday, Adewale said the van spotted entering Tinubu's house on Friday, 22nd, 2019, a day before the presidential election was erroneously arrived there. It was an error. He said some companies pay their staff in cash. The van did not have any money in them. It was an empty one. They missed their way and ended up there. Tinubu did not invite them. It has nothing to do with Tinubu. Reacting, Rufai Useni, one of the program anchor, buzzed at Adewale over Tinubu's response to question on the same money van. Useni said, said and he read out loud Tinubu on february 23rd 2019 reaction confirming the van brought money to him but you are saying something different today hey ah rufa was saying they asked the guy he said they thought saying i said the van he miss road yes he said but when they asked Tinubu, this is what Tinubu said that thing happened on the 22nd on the 23rd or that thing happened on the 22nd, yes, 23rd, your country dog going opera. Say, I believe Van Gothi enter Tinubu house. He said, I Tinubu call confirm, say, where say the van bring money call given. But you now say the van miss road. I beg, excuse me. We need, we need, a, we need explanation. Which one we would take? Let's continue. Tinubu has earlier said, excuse me, it is my money or government money. I don't work for the government. I am not in any agency of government. Let anybody come out to say I have taken any contract from the government or President Muhammad Buhari in the last five years. Nothing of such. They should prove it. I am, I am on my own and I'm committed to my party. So even if I have money to spend in my premises, so what's your headache? Excuse me. 
if I don't represent any agency of government and I have money to spend, if I have money, if I, I will spend it the way I like. People are free to spend their money, isn't it? As long as it is not for vote buying or anything, it is my money. So who are those watching my house and looking out for Volivan? They must be mischievous. They must be mischievous makers. They report falsehood and lies with enormous lies. They are jobless. Adewale maintained his position or still, even after Rafael Husseini said this was Tinubu's response and it responds then. On the next day, this was Tinubu's response. He said, yes, he was, he said he was, he was with Tinubu when the statement was given at a press statement back then in 2019. And that was merely a statement to dispel rumor. But what really happened was that the van missed his way. I have told you it was a missed, ident a missed identity of address. Adewale insists in response. Adewale also said Tinubu was employing and it, Tinubu was a well-respected man and Nigerian know him very well and whatever has happened was just a mistake of the address where the bullying vans were actually headed. So Adewale on another shame. Like let's ask ourselves, let's 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 be, between me and you, may we not may we not no no copy Siputo. We're not a shame. This was what Tinubu responded. This is Tinubu now saying that, oh, yes, bullying van came to my house. It's my money. I'm not working for the government. I'm not working with the government. I'm not as Buhari. He should come and prove me wrong. I've not taken a single contract. Yes, it was my money. I want to use it. I want to spend it the way I like. I called for it. They came to give me. What is the problem? Meanwhile, this guy is insisting. You get me now. That yes, so uh, what happened was that uh, the bullying van missed his way. But bros, you are not understanding it. Now, Rufai will say, can't say uh, but we are speaking two different things. The very person to which he happened to, Tinubu himself, Tinubu himself said that it is his money. He's not working for any arm of government. Nobody should question him. Excuse me. Who is lying to who here? Who is, uh, who is neither? We don't understand it. Where exactly are we standing in all of this? Because you are not, you are not coming out with the truth. Tinubu told us that it is his money. He wants to spend it the way he likes. He's not working for the government. He's not paid by the government. He doesn't have no contract. So, uh, skills mail. Who is deceiving who? Because we need to get to the bottom of the Malta. Who is deceiving who here in this Malta? Who is deceiving? I just have to speak like that so that you can, can get your attention. I be not a fee me. Tinubu say, na me send for the van. Na me send for the van. The guy say, na lie you. He said the van missy way. <laughs> I don't get it. Too. I'm trying very hard to understand it. I'm trying very hard to understand it. Anyway, my lovely, wonderful people, what do you think? Can we continue like this? Can we continue like this? A word they say is enough for the wise. A word they say is enough for the wise. To the say, van, I own. Say, I ain't saying for her. The other one say, I know no consign. Hey, they miss road. Nigerians, Nigeria, Nigeria. Nigeria, my country. Anyway, my people, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so YouTube will get all our latest news. Remember, say you get voice. So God bless. Have a fantastic day. Bye for now.